gonna be no rematch. The one one. There'll be a rematch. I said any place, any time, man. Can you hear? Hey, yo, Paul, you said there weren't gonna be no rematch. Look, chump, any place, any time. <laughs> Today's episode, we're back for a rematch. On my last video, I did a comparison between the Sunjo Dethatcher Scarifier and the Greenworks Dethatcher. But there's a twist. Every good rematch needs a three man cage match. So we brought in this one, the Works Dethatcher. I'm going to compare all three. We're going to see how they do. And we're going to go to other people's homes and let them weigh in on it not just me. So, let's go. All right, first up, the Green Works D Thatcher. This one is a 14 inch 10 amp. Comes with these tined cylinders. They all look pretty much the same, but this one has this option and this option only. This one has been used, so it's not brand new. To adjust the height on the green works, it's currently set at the large, the highest height. You move simply, pull out the unit, down, and the lowest height right there. You have to do it to both sides. Both sides? All right. Second next up is the Sun Joe Dethatcher. It also has the Scarifier, and the Scarifier unit is inside of it currently, but we're gonna swap that out and show how easy that is here in just a second. This one is a 13 inch wide, 12 amp. The height adjustment on the Sun Joe is a one push handle system, and it goes from ranking it from a positive 10 millimeters, five millimeters, zero, negative five to a negative 10 millimeter, negative 10 being the lowest. And you simply adjust the height with one push and you can get it to go up and down. Super easy, super simple. Sun Joe definitely makes it easier to do this height adjustment than any of the others. So the Sun Joe currently has the Scarifier unit put into it, as that's what I used last. And the Scarifier unit, when it is in play, and it is more aggressive than the tines that we're going to be using, but it, these, when they move and they come and they come in contact with the crown of the, of the lawn, will actually create a little trench, just a little bit wider than the blade, which makes it great for doing any sort of uh, seeding, overseeding, any renovation work that you might be doing, but it's super simple to remove and replace it with the tines, and we're gonna do that right now. Okay, simply remove this, 10 millimeter. Next up is the Works Dethatcher. This Dethatcher, the Works, is 14 inches wide and it is a 12 amp in electric engine. They are all now with the Works. The one thing that is apparently different than any of the others is that the Green Works, you can see, you can see the tines a little bit from where we're at. 
on that level. Sun Joe, you can't see the tines hardly at all unless you get way, 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 way down. And I'm on a four inch tripod, but the works, this leaves this entire area open. And I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Uh, we're definitely gonna see, but uh, um, that's one of the differences. It is a 14 inch, 12 amp. So it's got the same size motor or amperage motor as the Sun Joe, but it cuts. Now adjusting the height is just similar to the Greenworks in that, but the one difference is, is it has three height settings. One is a plus three millimeters. Number two is negative three millimeters. And number three is negative nine millimeters. So it comes a millimeter shy of what the Sun Joe does, but it actually says it on the dial versus the Greenworks does not say what the height is. You simply pull these out, it drops, number three, the lowest. You do have to change both sides for this to be level. Mm. Both sides? Okay, how we're going to do this to find out who wins this battle royale is we're going to do a point system. We're going to, I'm going to go through each unit. I'm going to then evaluate it, giving it a point system. Three points for first place, two points for second place, and one point for last place. Now, what this will do is this will give the opportunity for each unit, if it's fallen behind a little bit, to possibly catch up or completely blow everybody else out of the water. Now, I'm going to do my yard and give it a score. I'm going to go across the street, which has already had a dethatching done this spring, and we're going to do a score there. Then I'm going to take it to two other people's homes, use them there, have those people at each one of the other homes score it with absolutely no skin in the game and find out which one is the overall winner. Okay, so we're ready to go. We're going to start with the works. We're gonna start with the newcomer and we're gonna give it a shot first. Um, also, one thing I wanted to point out, I've pointed this out in other videos, but you need to make sure that if you're going over a certain length, I believe it's 100 or 150 feet, that you're using a 12 gauge uh, power, or power cord, extension cord, and make sure that it's that heavier gauge. That way it will not um, it'll allow the machine to run right. And if you use a smaller gauge, and the, sm the higher the number, the smaller the gauge. So just remember that. 12 is pretty thick. It's, Probably about as big around as one of my fingers, but you know, maybe my pinky. But if you run it on a power cord that is not suited, dang mosquitoes. They are dying. Let them die. Let them die. <laughs> if you run it on a power cord that is not rated and you go too far out, it could cause the unit to overheat. But one thing I want to point out is, as you can see, I've got my power cord always to the left and you want to work away from where you've got your power plugged in. So that way you'll be working this way. As we get to each machine we'll work this way. But you don't want to have your cord stretched all the way out and then have to keep moving it as you go this direction. We're going to go in this direction. <laughs>
be a little bit more it wasn't significant but it was a little bit more uh, material dead material and some good green grass material coming out it wasn't a ton I will admit but it was more than what works was bringing up and so you know I think the telltale sign is going to be when we go to other people's yards who haven't had a dethatching that'll really be the the true met, test of metal as to who's the better one I did get a couple of those same areas where I stopped and it would chew up the area but not nearly as bad um, as what the works did all right last and certainly not least the green works uh felt like you were mowing a yard. A lot of hard Man, work. Man, a lot of hard work. I wonder who does that every single week at this house. Thanks, Oakley. Ew! Ah! Yeah, there's lots of mosquitoes out. So we are across the street at EJ's house. This is also the project lawn that we did in for 2020. Um, 
if you haven't checked that out check it out so that you can see how green and how we made this yard look the way it does but today we're here to try out the, the uh, three dethatcher machines EJ is going to use them then he's going to give us his honest opinion on each three and rank each one of them so let's go Okay, so rank them from best to worst, first place to third place, for easy use, what it was getting done. I think this one is like the my first, you know, choice. Okay. And then this, the second, if I, you know, if I really know what I'm doing, then I have to like, you know, run through all the lawn like faster, so it won't really. Okay. Kind of all make Felt rest. like you'd have to work harder. Maybe yeah. that's why they call it works. I don't know. But this one is very handy. It's like you know, it's very easy to turn it on, and I don't have to use okay. metal. This one is kind of like hard. It's in this place, and I have to use two hands. Okay. This one is like one. Okay. So this one is like it's light as well, but it's not like I don't think it's gonna pull a lot of grass or dead debris. So this one's third. Yeah, this one is third. Okay. First, second, third. There you have it, folks. First, second, third. Sun Joe wins. Okay, so we've got the lady of the house. Hello. And she's going to give us her impressions. She just got home from work. She's going to take a stripe up and a stripe back down with each machine, and then she's gonna rank them, kind of like what Oakley did. Way last. <laughs> wow. Sorry. <laughs> way last. I don't know if it's ever been deemed that as way last. That means like, if you ain't first, you're last. <laughs> All right. I'm here with my sister-in-law, Megan. Hello. We are going to try this out in her yard. Uh, has this yard ever been dethatched before? No, I don't even know what these machines are. Okay, cool. That was not fake. No, it's not. <laughs> so this is her first time ever touching the machines, ever trying them. So we're going to give them a shot. This one is the best one, in my opinion, because it seemed to get the most dead grass up and it was easier to operate than this one was extremely hard to push. It did seem to get a decent amount of the dead grass, but because of how much more difficult it was to push, I would never want to use this again. Okay. This one 
was so easy it felt like it was pulling me okay but it did not appear to do anything to the grass okay other than give it the lines the stripes that okay. ryan likes <laughs> okay so give us a first second third oh first. i thought it okay Ooh, tie for last <laughs> and definite last okay so, so first second third that one's a second because okay. it did something okay so first, second, third. All right. All right. We're here today at my buddy Mike's house. And even though I don't know that his yard is as green as mine and looks probably better than mine, but we're going to try these uh, machines out and we're gonna get his view as to which one's better. Okay, we're done, Mike. Let's uh, have you run through them. Tell us what you liked about them, what you didn't like, and then rank them. Uh, I would say that the green works. Um, it was easy to use. Um, it was light to, to move across the grass. But you can see that it uh, didn't reach as deep or, or, or pull up as much um, of the thatch that's buried below. Uh, Sun Joe, it was... Um, you know, obviously reached deeper, did, did good that way. Um, pulled up a lot of material that's been down there for 20 years. Um, Older than some people that I know. Yes. Um, and my kids. The Sun Joe, as you can see, as I was operating it, it seemed like it kind of got hung up a little bit and I had to kind of work the machine. Uh -huh. um, but it, all in all, it, it did a good job as far as removing the product or the, the thatch. Um, and then the works, um, it moved real easy across the ground real ergonomically um friendly to the the user because it's got operator. a higher handle is what higher handle I'm a, I'm a little bit taller so ergonomically it fit me better um and and it pulled up a, a lot of the, the thatch um, that was in the in in the ground um i would say i would probably go with the works as the number one as the number one okay for what it pulled up and ease of use, and then the uh, Sun Joe. Okay. And I think that they pulled up probably just as much uh, equally, but it was just a little easier for me to use the works. And then the uh, the the Green Power Works would be my third. Okay. Cool. There you have it, folks. It's a first. The works got first place for the first time. It's always a first for something. All right, Mike. So after seeing this nice green, pretty green yard, would you have ever thought that this was underneath all of that? Uh, not in a million years, but I have thought that I would have pulled this out of my grass. Helps to keep uh, a direct line for your water, your nutrients, your air to get to, your, to the roots of your grass without having this matted grass underneath that thick layer. I mean, his grass looks great. But I guarantee you, it also will allow for new growth and stronger, healthier roots. Thicker sure. grass. Thick grass, because we love that thick grass. Like thick grass. And we don't even live in Washington State.
cross you up. Go for it. Hey, thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell for any notifications on any future videos being posted. Also, like, share with your friends, and please comment down below. It really helps. And we'll see you in the next one.